Good morning, friends. Welcome back to the home. It's another beautiful day here. Uh, a little chilly today. Yeah, woke up in the 40s, wind blowing from the north. So there's a little wind noise. I apologize. Don't have a mic today. Uh, so, you know, the other day I made a video talking about not burning or trash. And just want to clarify that I am definitely not opposed to it. I'm not some environmental geek or something here. Um, I'm not an environmentalist by any means. But uh, it's just one of those things, you know. Got to be a little more self-conscious more, you know, in modern days. So, uh, well, here I am today in this hole. So, you know, in modern day, we take our trash and every week or two weeks, we take our trash can from there and we take it to a landfill and we dump it or we take it and, and put it into an incinerator and we burn it. You know, we're, we're dumping it in the ground, we cover it up with dirt and come back in 50 years and it might be gone or may not be. It's a landfill, that's exactly what it is. Well, back in the day and even modern day, homesteaders and farmers and the like didn't have the uh that you know luxury of having a trash service and, and they might live in a rural enough area that they well they bury their trash yet and so they burnt you know they dug a hole threw the trash in covered it up and called it good well another thing was taking old outhouses uh, after the house was done and uh filling the hole in and this right here, this little indention in the ground, I do believe is a, uh, the remnants of an old outhouse because, well, there's a post right there. There was an, the, another post I just pulled out right over there. And then I can kind of see the bases of an old post right here. And uh, what they would do, they basically strip the outhouse off and there'd be a giant hole below because that's where they, you know, pooped. And uh, they would just fill it in with trash and I have found plenty of old scrap metal and, and bottles and the like in here. So the reason why I think this is an old outhouse, well, it's because there's a foundation right here. And this foundation may or may not be for a house, but it's like, I don't know, 15, 18, almost 20 foot by 25 or thereabouts. And it kind of looks like there used to be a little stem wall here of some sort, a rock wall, and then this is all kind of a kind of rock wall, concrete type thing. I don't know. But I've been burning this off and cleaning it out, and there's scrap metal all over the place. But, uh, I tell you what, these old digs, they're, they're pretty cool to find out what was on your property prior to this. And there's a couple of people I watch on YouTube. Uh, I can't remember their names right now, but they're, they do a lot of, uh, digging and they, they prioritize their digging in old outhouses they'll go around and get old homesteads and they'll start probing around with a giant rod and as soon as it gets soft it goes down and that's probably a good point to where the, the uh, outhouse was and i watched one the other day where it uh dated back to the early 1900s you know these guys are you know experts in glass bottles and stuff and i don't know i don't know anything about glass bottles this could be from the 60s or that could be even later. This could be from the 80s. I don't know. Oh, excuse me there. It, it might say on there I need to wash it up. But uh, uh, no refill. I haven't disposed of properly. Throw it in this hole. Anyways. So. Uh, <coughs> excuse me. Where was I going with this? Well. You know it's just. It. Well, it's not the modern thing to do, really, to, you know, dig a hole and throw your trash in it. Uh, that's what they had, uh, you know, for a resource back then was to, you know, dig a hole and throw the trash in it. And this property, like I said in the last video, um, the people we bought it from, they were in their 80s. They had owned this property since the 60s. So over 60 years, they were in their early 20s or even their teens when they bought this property. And... Uh, they always wanted to put a house out here so there could have been very well could have been a uh a homestead here when they got here and then just over the time they they took it down but um there has not been an actual house on here for quite some time according to records uh, but i don't think there's anything showing what was here prior to the last owners so it's kind of cool to come here and unearth this uh, i came over here and pulled this stuff out of the ground a giant this is probably a one one gallon or more uh jug top kind of a mason jar type thing but it's pretty big it's a pretty wide mouth to be a mason jar so it could be 
you know, a two gallon jug or so. I was like, wow, it's a helmet. Nope, it's been shot. It's a 22 or something right there, but it's an old differential cover. Could be from a tractor or a truck. I have no idea. Uh, an old uh, metal can of some sort, probably a milk can, could be. Who knows? I mean, it's just scrap everywhere. There's bed springs. That's what they used to do for just backfilling holes. They just throw the crap in the ground and, and cover it up. But I'm going to keep on digging. I mean, this right here. I found some actual like square head, square shank nails before out here. So it's pretty old, but this isn't uh, too crazy old in technology there. So this could be from the 60s or 70s or heck, could be from 2000 for all we know. But there's no history really on this property prior to that. So it could have been brought from other places and tossed in here or whatever it be. But that's what I'm gonna keep on doing today. And just is that uh, kind of like an old dog door or something. Who knows? Man, it's getting cold out here. That wind blowing from the north. But uh yeah, I'm gonna keep on digging and I'll I'll let you guys know if I find anything crazy good. I mean I did find some old oil filters over here. They could be from you know, 10 years ago, or it could be from 30 years ago. I don't know. I can't really tell uh, an old rusty filter. <coughs> oh, man, I'll tell you what, this wind, it says er, H1286A. That looks like a, a Fram, maybe. Can't tell it's, it's off, and there's another one in here somewhere, but all kinds of scrap. I'm looking for the old bottles and that kind of stuff. That's where the cool stuff's at. You never know what you're gonna come across on old homestead. All right, guys, so I apologize for the winds. Kind of crazy out here, but I'm about four foot deep right there. Maybe five foot at the deepest from the top. And I think that's the bottom of this side. I need to move back over this way and start digging. Um, this is the bottom of it right here. Originally, and I went down about a foot and a half and I found a bunch of metal. Um, but I have dated this somewhat, along with all these bottles I pulled up here. Found an old uh, metal enameled uh, tea kettle of some sort. Mason jar. That's pretty cool. I believe that's an old. Uh, that's definitely an old uh, oil can lid. You know where you put the spout through there. I think these are red stripe bottles. I'm not 100% sure. I'll have to do some more research, but there's uh, tons of them. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And then I probably threw away a dozen more over there. That's tons. Uh, some other soda bottles are thereabouts. No idea then uh, what these are, obviously. There's a couple of those. Uh, a beer bottle, or it could be a soda bottle, I don't know. Um, this is a really cool can, or bottle, sorry. Drink, craft form, I don't know. Caffeine, something, I don't know. The problem is with these old bottles, this is a paper label. If this gets water on it, uh, this will be gone. The, the dirt has actually preserved this bottle um, quite a bit. Can you read what it says there? I really don't want to wash it up and, and get rid of that. Uh, by any means, but that's a cool bottle right there. So I'm gonna look that up and figure out what this drink was. Uh, I, like I said, I did date this a little bit, of course. It's an old uh, metal Budweiser can with a, the, the, pop, the pull tab right there. Uh, so that's clearly the 70s right there. Uh, and then I found this can right here. Pepsi. 75th anniversary, 1973. Look how shiny that can is, guys. That is so cool. This dirt, the ground, has preserved all these uh, labels and stuff for as much as they are. Uh, the newer cans won't be this good in 40 years, 50 years. Um, look at this. I don't even know. I thought it was just let's for a second. That's not it. I don't even know what this is. Something beer, root beer. Root beer is what it is. I can see the R O O T right there. Beer, root beer. That is so cool. Oh, right here. Something made in Kansas. Cordia, Kansas. Lenexa, Kansas. Um, I'll have to do my research on that. 
figure that out. But uh, then I also found an oil can lid, uh, clear, clear puncture for the spout right there. That definitely dates it back to the 60s and 70s. So or way earlier than I was around. What's this one? Uh, another root beer can, is that what that is? Looks the same. kind of etched in there but another mason jar there but so many so many bottles and cool things this is what i was digging this up for is somebody you know put their trash in the ground and that's pretty neat to see oh then i found this old uh keystone that's not a keystone not old but it was actually on the topsoil over there and i just I fell in i'm like hey that's not that old who drinks keystone light anyways gross Anyways, guys, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, I need to go get some, some fuel. It's on E, and then uh, keep on digging and having some good time finding treasures. If I find more, oh look, here's another old lid. That's even older. If it's a pop, if it's a pop can, look at that. It's even rusty. I need a can opener for that. Vent hole, drink hole. That's neat. Or it could have been food, I don't know. But if I find more, if I find more over there, I will, uh, of course, make an additional video. And uh, anyways, you guys keep calm and carry on and have a great day.